Okay, nice close up here so you can see what I am doing. I've got my thread and I've left it uncut from the spool. So I'm going to pull off some thread there, um, flatten the end of the thread, and let's get that thread it up. Thread up your needle. Okay, we're finally going to start stitching. Woohoo! I'm pulling out plenty of thread from my spool, and you'll see why in a second. So I've got number one signature at the number one spot on my spine. I'm going to enter the cover and flipping open the cover, oopsie, I'm going to enter the signature right in the middle. I have my fingers in the middle of the signature for this whole process. I've pulled out plenty of thread. Okay, going back down to the second station, out the signature, into the cover, pulling out. Put that guy up that way. And here's why we're not cutting off from the spool. We're going to enter the third station in the in the cover and the third station leaving a loop and this is about six inch loop all around so you've got about three inches on each side back into the signature and out snugging up the inside signature. We'll be doing more snugging later in this stitch, but for the moment just no loop on the inside. And then down to the fourth piercing station in the cover and then in the signature, leaving that loop and then exiting both the signature and the cover. Okay, and at this point we can lose the needle and we've got loops and ends here. We're going to trim off this and spool end, leaving about three inches again. I actually left more than that, but you want at least three inches because the tacketing can be, you don't want to have, you want to have plenty of thread for the tacketing. Okay, so now I'm just working with this top pair first, snugging that up. I'm actually going to even out this loop a little bit. Snugging, so the inside of the book is snugged up against the spine. Okay, simple, simple. You're going to tie, or you're going to start tying a knot, but you're just going to do the first part. Okay? And then we're going to go over top with the bottom, with the right-hand side of the thread and wrap from the bottom up with the left hand side of the thread. And you're just going to repeat this as many times as you want. Um, I'm just going to do it that many times, whatever that was, two times. And we're going to put them out of the way and move on to the next tack it, which is I'm just snugging up really good here. And let's do a few more on this one. Don't tie the knot tight yet. Give yourself space to hold that 
looped thread under get from the top down on the right hand side and the bottom up on the left hand side and let's give it a pull and see how that's looking looking pretty good top down being careful not to split your threads here this gets a little bit funny okay um, this one bottom up and I'm going to show you another trick on that last piercing that might make it and does make it a little bit easier for me and you might be the same so just pulling that wrap until it sits nicely for you and pulling the thread to make it neat and close okay all right, just neaten it up. Okay, for this last tacket, let me show you. Um, this might seem like a pain to you, but actually it makes the wrapping go a little bit easier. I'm just going to even out those two lines of thread, and I'm going to thread one needle. Just leave a short tail here and then thread another needle onto the other side okay and then we're going to do the same thing but with needles we're going to tie half that half knot half that knot and then this goes a little quicker for me it might be a, you might I don't want to thread needles but it does make it for me and probably for you uh, the time it takes to thread the two needles is um, really minimal so we're going to tighten this up and here's the other thing if you want a lot of wraps you want to tighten it up and neaten it up here and then it's real easy to begin the wrapping if you want a whole bunch of wraps here which is kind of neat look it looks like um, a couch stitch or something like that so you can still see this pull gently but firmly okay let's get that out of the way always move that last wrap out of the way so that the next wrap doesn't fall on top of it and we're going to do another one you're not going to be able to see this really clearly because the thread is um, not hugely thick but just keep that going until you have a coil coil around that thread okay Hang not on. my tacketing done on the spine of this white book and I just have a little dot of glue in here and a paintbrush, the non-working end of a paintbrush or a toothpick or a skewer and just very gently dot some glue onto that tacketed area and then just leave it, leave it to dry a little bit and it's done. The tackening is done.